guys, Courtney Mermaid here, and in today's video, I want to give you guys a quick look into my mermaid swim bag. Alright, so I figured I would give you guys a little insight into some of the things that I bring with me to the pool. I This is exactly as I left it last, so whatever's in here is what I had with me the last time. Of course, the towels and stuff got cleaned and put back in the bag. Alright, so what I use, I just use like a nice regular kind of duffel bag for my swim bag. I have a separate bag that carries my tails and I have a cool little trick uh, with one of those bags in here as well for when the tail's wet and how to not have a wet tail skin just destroy the inside of your car or get you soaked on transit. Let's do this. All right, so this is my bag. I have, of course, a very large towel. I have a smaller towel. This is actually a microfiber uh, cloth. I, use, I was actually given this, I was gifted this um, by uh, one of my local pools. They had invited me out for a mermaid swim and they had given me a bunch of goodies. I have a couple of the other goodies in here as well, but I love this thing. So I keep this, uh, I leave this in the locker and I keep this beside the pool with me. This is for on days when I'm like filming, not when I'm doing like a kid's party or something. So this would be, a trip to the pool, I'm filming, I've got my tail, maybe I've got somebody there to film me, uh, and that kind of thing. So it's more of like a behind the scenes kind of a day for this sort of stuff. Very typical that I would have a lot of this with me when I go to film the videos that you see of me swimming underwater. So that's that, okay. Now, I love this guy, all right? What this is, this is one of those watertight bags. So I will, when I get to the pool and I get changed, all of my dry clothes that I wanna keep dry go in here, okay? Then at the end of the swim, I take, and I get obviously out of all my tail and my bathing suit, whatever. All of these clothes, of course, I get back into. This, then my tail comes out of its monof, or the monofin comes out of my tail and the tail goes in here, gets rolled up, and the thing doesn't leak. It's like leak proof, right? Because it's one of those watertight, it's like sealed with that cement stuff that they use, whatever that is. And um, and it keeps, it stays dry then. So that I don't have, uh, it's a small compact bag that I can carry the monofin, give the monofin a quick rinse and a dry. Um, yeah, so that's, that is a very, this was also part of the gift pack that I got from those guys and I love it so much, so, so much. It's one of my favorite things in my, in my little arsenal now. I'm sorry that the camera keeps coming in and out of focus. I'm not sure what the deal is with that, but it's it's having a moment apparently. Next is my little bag that carries sort of my goggles. Oh, I forgot, I actually got new goggles. Ooh, I'm so excited. I keep my earplugs with me. Eye drops, of course. Eye gel, very important. Uh, my old earplugs, which I keep just in case, like I'm still getting used to these and I do, do really love these a lot. So I don't think I'm gonna need these again, but as a temporary, keep them with me kind of a situation. And then my goggles. So those guys all, oh, and my nose clip. My nose clip was attached to the thing. Oh no, and my nose clip, very important. These are things that will come to the actual uh, pool's edge with me. I also, because of where I typically swim, have to keep my certification that I'm cool to swim in a mermaid tail. I keep that with me. And I also keep, if you're somebody with an Aquarius monofin, you know what I'm about to show you, a bunch of elastics and a hair tie. <laughs> the elastics I use to reinforce the straps on my Aquarius if they should break. It's also handy just to keep some elastics with you at the pool, you never know. <laughs> you never know, guys. You never know what you need them for. And a hair tie just in case for some reason I wore my hair down that day and forgot to bring a hair tie. So I don't always like to have my hair down when I'm practicing. Okay, so that's that. Okay, what do I have in here? In here, I've got some hand cream because you know what? After, I really don't like the feel of what my hands feel like when they're pruny um, and kind of the chlorine and stuff. After I wash my hands, I put a little bit of, um, this is just sage uh, muscle melt. It's called, it's comforting body lotion according to them. It's got a bit of a weird smell, but it, I really like it. So I throw some on my feet and I throw some on my hands. Makes me really happy. Uh, Kleenex because well, Kleenex, I always have Kleenex everywhere. I also, I only ever use this at the pool and it's like my favorite smelling stuff ever. I, I never use this, it's so not the best shampoo for you, but I love the smell of it. So I, as a little like air quote treat, I use it um, sometimes at the pool, so. 
like in the showers after I'm done swimming. <laughs> and that's the end of this. And now, what else do I have in here? Oh, I have a neoprene case for my glasses because I, I can't see, well I can see, but I can't see well. So I like to bring these with me to the edge of the pool and but I don't like them to get scratched or you know, scuffed or anything. So I keep them in a little, in a little baggie that has glasses that look just like mine. Seriously, that's amazing. Okay, I got that at the dollar store. Now, again, if you are already a mermaid, you're gonna get <laughs> plastic bags. All right, so if you are a, if you're already a mermaid, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna agree. You wanna go with a minimum two giant plastic garbage bags. You never know what is gonna accidentally get dropped in the pool or what's gonna, what is gonna need to be stored in a giant plastic bag. You just never know. And if you're somebody with a lot of accessories, like a big top or, or more than one tail and that little bag's not gonna do it, plastic bags, guys, plastic bags, they're a thing. Sometimes I actually use them to stand on. Um, if I'm in like a change room and the floor is disgusting, I'll just lay down a plastic bag and be like, ooh, good. All right, I think that's everything in here. In the front of my bag, which I can't open apparently, <laughs> um, I do keep with me because people will see me swim, they'll see me in the change room and then they'll want to know where I got my tail, so I keep business cards. I know that sounds maybe a little, you know, full of myself or whatever, but it does happen. And the couple of times that it did happen, I didn't have business cards. So now I just make it a habit to keep a huge stack of business cards on hand at all times. And then I have a cute little pouch full of quarters. You know, different pools will have a different amount that you have to pay. The pool I swim at typically is a 25 cent per locker that you don't get back sometimes, which kind of sucks, but whatever, um, but quarters. And that, if I'm not mistaken, is almost all of it. But um, hang on, I think there's one more. Okay, now last but not least, the most important pocket. The pocket that houses the spare underwear and socks for when Genius up here forgets to bring uh, her underwear if she gets changed in her bathing suit at home, which has happened and has not been cool. Okay, good. And the socks are just in case you were getting changed and you put your foot down before you could get it in your shoe and your sock gets soaked and that's disgusting. So. There's that. And that is my bag. All right, and that was a top secret look at the inside of my mermaid swim bag. Now this would not be something, like when I do a gig with kids, I have a massive duffel bag that carries like two tops, the tail, business cards, like a bunch of stuff that I need props and whatnot, a mat to stretch out on, like there's a whole, that's a whole other thing. And I will eventually do an updated video on that anyways. But this was more just like, I'm hitting the pool, I got the tail in the pack and away we go, kind of a thing. So I hope you guys found that useful. Um, if you did and you liked this video, please feel free to give it a big thumbs up. If you guys are interested in checking out my Patreon pod where I post all kinds of fun behind the scenes of footage and other rewards, monthly update videos and that kind of thing, be sure to check me out at patreon.com slash Vancouver Mermaid and uh, join the Patreon pod. And otherwise, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell notification so you don't miss out on any more of my mermaid adventures. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Happy swimming and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Bye!